Your girl is officially retying her own hair, if you haven't heard. <laughs> and I've learned a few things since I've started self retying And I'm going to share with you those things. It's five, girl. Five, five things that will make the world of difference when you are retying your own hair. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. I want to save you some heartache, some trouble, some damage all of the things the first thing that i've learned since i begin to retie my own hair is to make sure i start with clean hair now a couple of times that i decided to do it i waited until after to wash my hair and after the fact i began to see more slippage and what i like is when you do that retie you have that clean crisp parts it just looks so tidy and so neat well when you do a retie then you immediately turn back around and wash your hair it's like frizz galore. I begin to see slippage across the perimeter. Starting with clean hair helps you to correct any slippage that you have on the front end versus the back. Number two, honey, and this is a big one, okay? Make sure that you are using the correct tool. So there are a lot of tools out there on the market that you can use when it comes to retying your own hair. So when I was going to my loctician, she used a crochet hook. And that is what I began to use once I started to retie my hair. It was so hard in the beginning that I just could not get it. I didn't know how the girls were doing it. I was watching several videos and let me tell you, some of the locks, it was like I was working in reverse because they were coming all the way undone. Then there was the snagging from the latch hook, but I had previously ordered a tool off Amazon to do my reties. Well, I didn't use it because that wasn't what I was accustomed to using. I watched a couple of videos and once I began to use it, listen, it was a game changer, okay? It speeded up the process. I got less snagging and it was amazing. So what I've learned is the tool that you use to retie your hair absolutely matters. So make sure that you are using something that you are comfortable with using. The third thing that I've learned is to quit when I get tired. Cause I can't tell you how many times I have married locks together. I have made mistakes. Y'all, it's just, but only when I'm tired. So what I've learned is when you are tired, just stop. I understand even if you don't finish the section that you have intended to complete in that one sitting, stop, walk away and come back to it either that day or the next, but it is not worth marrying locks together. Now you're having to comb out locks and figure out or cut them to figure out how you're going to correct those mistakes. There's nothing out there that says you have to accomplish your head in one day. Yes, your loctician may be able to do it within a few hours and that's because one, they are working on someone else's head and two, they are trained, they have practiced, they are doing this day in and day out. Whereas when it comes to you, you one, you are working on your own head and it's time consuming. So make sure again, you stop when you're tired. Number four, retie more often. If you're like me and you are at the beginning of your lock journey, then your locks have not fully matured, they are not fully locked, and you may still be experiencing slippage. So to be able to self-retie, that allows you to retie your perimeter or those slippage areas more often. So for me, my primary concern is the front of my hair. I all in the face, girl, all in the face. So my target areas are the front parts of my head because I like my locks to look fresh. And I'll experience so much slippage across the front after about a couple of weeks, I'll say maybe three weeks, the front of my hair begins to look rough, it's puffy, you can't see the parting anymore. Honestly, sometimes you can't tell whether I am locked or I'm just a loose natural when you're looking at the front. So what I like to do is retie about every three weeks the front part of my head and then go six to eight weeks for the rest of my hair and then last but not least control the tightness now when i was going to my loctician y'all i would literally need a tylenol because the next day was torturous okay even though i would tell her don't make it that tight it would still be tight and i just could not deal when you are retying your own hair you have full control over how tight you want to do your retie. And for me, honey, I don't want it tight. I don't want it tight at all. I don't want to be walking around here the next day or two days later and my hair is 
my head is sore because it's retied too tight and I feel like it's pulling. When your micro locks are tied too tight, they do just as much damage as you going to get some box braids and it is pulling on your hair. And that is not what you want, honey. We are not trying to have traction alopecia over here. So make sure that you are controlling the tightness when you do your own micro locks. And if that means that you don't get to finish that last iteration of your retie, then so be it. But guess what? You will not experience thinning because your hair is retied too tight. So just make sure that you keep that in mind when you are doing your own reties. These are some of the things that I've learned since I've started retying my own hair, y'all. And it has made a world of difference. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning into my channel. As always, I love you and God bless.